Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. I just wanted to do a quick and dirty video showing how to replace the connector on your LiPo. I started out using these Dean's connectors for everything. I seem to struggle to plug them in, the pins don't want to mate properly, and then I found these uh, XT60 connectors. And for me, they're amazing. They're just so easy to plug in. They're rated to the same or slightly more current than the Dean's connectors and I just like them a lot better. So I decided to start changing everything over to the XT60s and I just bought a bunch of these. I think I bought um, 50 male and 50 female for like 10 bucks or something ridiculous. So yep, what I wanted to do is show you how to actually change the connector over on your LiPo. So what do we need? We need a decent soldering iron. A bench vise is helpful, but not necessary. Obviously you need a LiPo. You need both a male and a female XT60 connector, and I'll explain why in a minute. A couple of bits of heat shrink, that's not optional. You absolutely must heat shrink around the connector. Um, a decent pair of cutters, some solder flux, some rosin core 6040 solder. So the reason why we need a male and a female pair is because the gauge of wire here can take some time to heat up with the soldering iron. And what that can do is actually melt your connector and, and disfigure it. So the way that we combat that is that we plug two together and the female always connects to the power source uh, because obviously you don't want the exposed terminals floating off the battery. Um, so we make a note of which one is the female. We connect them together and then this one actually ends up acting as a heat sink. Now, all we need to do is just put this in the vise. I've got my soldering iron set to 300 degrees C. And really, honestly, if you're doing this as a hobby, get a decent soldering iron. This is the Heiko 888D, uh, what I use at home, and it's quite good. Um, now, all you want to do is just get in there and heat up that pin. You don't actually need any flux for this because this solder has a flux core inside it. And we just want to wet that bucket on the connector. Not too much, you don't want big, huge blobs. You just want a nice coating on the inside of the bucket. Okay, so the connector is now prepped. So what we actually need to do is we need to cut the cable off the LiPo. Obviously, you do not want to cut them both at the same time because that will short them out. So we do want to just cut the plus wire as close to the connector as possible. And now this is where you need to obviously be pretty careful. Just pull that bit of heat shrink off. These cutters are amazing. I don't know if you can see there, but uh, they've actually got like little stripping parts in them. These are German brand Nipex, amazing. I've had these particular ones for about seven years. They're still sharp. You can see how easy that is to strip. And now we just want to twist it up nice and tight and then grab our chip quick flux and give it a nice little coating. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna negate the need to heat the wire up too much. Basically, it's gonna help the solder suck into the wire strands. Next, we get our solder wire and just like bend it up in a way so that you don't really need a third hand for it. It's just already sitting in place. And what we want to do is just coat that wire in solder so that the whole wire has got that soldery shine to it. So that there is good. Put our piece of heat shrink over and now we want to connect this one to the new connector before we cut the negative off. Now the trick here is to just 
heat up the solder that we just put on the wire and melt it and then through that wire we want to melt the solder that we put in the bucket of the connector and it does take a little bit because the gauge of this wire is quite big and there we go I just felt it all coagulate that is a great connection I can give it a give it a good pull and it's not going anywhere now we slide down the heat shrink and it is better to use a heat gun for this but my heat gun's out on a job at the moment I don't have it at home so I'm just going to do a uh, ghetto style soldering iron heat shrinking which I don't recommend but hey it's going to get the job done today we cut off the negative of the Deans goodbye Deans and we strip our wire make sure there's no little straggly bits and basically now we just want to repeat exactly what we just did and away we go uh, tip for the inexperienced the smoke that comes off the flux is extremely bad for you so you do not want to be breathing that stuff in make sure you've got good ventilation or at the very least you don't have your face in that stream of smoke that comes off it now we put our piece of black heat shrink on I'm gonna just tip this so you can see and hopefully this one will give you a bit of a better view and you can see that I'm just melting the solder through the wire and once that's melted then the heat transfers through to the connector and it does get a bit hot to the touch no doubt about that and just shrink that down and voila now you have a lipo with a new connector safely on it okay guys I hope you got something out of that if you did subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video cheers see ya